just got to the warehouse. About to go hit it with the boys. I'm gonna go find a wall right now. Good space to put up a good piece. This place is beautiful. Well, I love that concept, having something beautiful surrounded by <laughs> destruction. So me being creative, that's my therapy, man. There's nothing better than having a concept, an idea, and bringing it to life. I was doing this before I even knew that I was doing this. <laughs> even when I was younger, we would go check shit out. And I always push shit too far and get in trouble. I tried meditating and it didn't work for me photography or painting. I feel like that's my meditation. I'm not thinking of anything else. I'm there, I'm creating, and in the moment. That's where I feel centered and grounded. Uh, I got back into it, I would say about a year and a half ago. I've been going since I was a kid, like 14. More just tags and stuff like that. I didn't start taking it seriously about a year and a half ago that's whenever I was like oh I can actually do something I use Montana 94 which is like a low pressure can honestly it's one of those moments where nothing is in my head other than this art that's why I love it I used to use so much stuff but this I can work on myself and I can honestly escape for a little bit I kind of zone the fuck out it's kind of crazy, even though you're not thinking about anything in particular, I come out and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I do need to start doing this. Maybe I do need to start doing that. And it's just because you've gotten that peace of mind to finally kind of see clearly, if that makes sense. It does. What does it mean to you to be surrounded by people that support your art? Oh, you know, that's what, it, even my daughter, man, she'll see some of my art. And like today, she was showing everyone at her class. She was like, my daddy draws so crazy, but it's so cool. And you know, in my eyes, it's me kind of remembering where I was and all these insecurities that do be telling you these certain things of giving up or whatever. It's just proof to put it on the paper and see this ugly ass character and be like, yeah, that's the ugly part of me that I need to change. You know, I have these people in my life that constantly remind me every day, you know, that I'm, I'm actually working towards something really cool and that I'm doing something that actually should be proud of. So as long as I have those people in my life still kind of giving me the, the words of wisdom, then I'm good, man. It's cold as balls out here. I believe that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world is who am I? What do you mean? What do you feel when you say the word I? I myself. I don't think there can be any more fascinating preoccupation than that because it's so mysterious, it's so elusive. Because what you are in your inmost being escapes your examination in rather the same way that you can't look directly into your own eyes without using a mirror. You can't bite your own teeth. You can't taste your own tongue. And you can't touch the tip of this finger with the tip of this finger. And that's why there's always an element of profound mystery in the problem of who we are. This problem has fascinated me for many years and I've made many inquiries. What do you mean by the word I?